No tests off limits. And the results are in. Barry. Not the five. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. Yes! Told you! Woo! She needs a DNA test to prove that Brian is the father to Brian and his whole family. You live together? Yes, oh, yeah. Lori. Is Brian the father, or will she have to look for a new place to live? Brian? Oh. Hey, Zeus is happy to have a three-month-old baby with his girlfriend, Erica. But they're here because Lacey claims he has a three-month-old baby with her, too. This is a stalker. He ain't the father. That's why you here. Two grandmas at war over one baby. She's only 17. She and her mother say he's the father, but his mother says he's not. Shut the hell up, you crazy! Yeah, I'm crazy. You gonna stay away from my son? What kind of person are you? Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert. Plus, Jolene has been sleeping with her husband and her lover for the past nine years. Who's the father of her four kids? What is going on? I am torn. Four DNA tests, four unforgettable results. Shocking DNA results, next. This is Sarah. Now, when Sarah discovered she was pregnant with her son, Phoenix, she was ecstatic. Until, of course, she told her boyfriend, Brian, because it became a living hell. At that point, Sarah claims Brian his mother, Rose, and his sister, Nicole, not only began denying the baby, but went out of their way to make her life miserable. So before we hear from Sarah, listen to what Brian, Rose, and Nicole had to say about all this. From the moment Sarah told me she was pregnant, I knew I wasn't the father. My mother knew it, my sister knew it, and I'm gonna prove it. I took one look at that girl, Sarah, and knew she was nothing but a whore, and she's just using that baby to trap my son. I love my brother, and I'm not gonna let some trifling slut try to take advantage of him and pin some baby on him that's not even his. Sarah left me for two weeks and then came back pregnant. How is that possible? We are in different states. Sarah thinks that baby looks like my brother? But she's delusional. He doesn't look like anybody in my family. Once this DNA test results come back and say that my son's not the father of that baby, I want that whore out of my house. And out of my brother's life for good. I, Sarah. I don't know if I could take that. Oh, I'm fed up. Trust me, I'm done. <laughs> Now, here's the deal, Sarah. You're all mad at them, they're all mad at you, and you and Brian are still together. Yes, we are. I mean, is there a lot of arguing? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of arguing because he always wants to sit there and tell me that he ain't the dad. You can kiss my... So, basically, what they're saying is that you went back to your ex, and because you went back to your ex, who you have these other kids by, your child now looks like the other he kids and not like Brian and his family. You know what? I'm the mother. Of course he's going to look like his brother. <laughs> you and Brian planned this baby. Yes, we did. And did you all lay up in the bed with him? You sure the hell didn't. So how are you all going to take this from her? Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> now, if uh, Rose and Nicole were out of the picture, how do you think Brian would be acting? I think he'd still have his doubts, be but because them two trifling bitches right there want to talk. Here's a scene I want you to recreate. You're going to have this baby. They take you into the hospital. You're going to give birth to this child. Oh, yeah. Them two downstairs are talking about me what to my that? friends while I'm in delivery room trying to have a baby. They and he's not even there. They show, up at he's the working. they show up at the hospital, right? And they get into such a, a fit, they throw them out of the hospital. Yep. Because they were talking trash at the hospital yep. about, about your baby. Yep. Wait yeah, till she whatever. has that baby. I'm going to kick her ass. That ain't my brother's son. So that's what they were doing at the hospital. I guess we better bring him out, huh? Yeah, bring him out. Come on. Because we're going to settle this right now. Here's 
three of them are Brian, his mother Rose, and his sister Nicole. <laughs> She leaves for two weeks, go. Yeah, up. she stays yep. gone yep. for a week at a time. She's, She's there always sleeping leaving. around. You're sleeping around. She's like, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, Are you in bed with me? No, Do you know no, what I'm you sleeping around? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Take my body. He doesn't need whatever. He don't need no damn kids. What are you so upset about, Nicole? Because she's trying to take advantage of my brother. I know that ain't his kid. Yeah, take That's advantage? That's why you went to I don't want to be with him. If, back I, if I needed to be with him, I wouldn't be with him. Pregnant. You don't think I can you have a better life? Pregnant. You don't think I can do hey, that? He looks like I went to him because I love him. He looks like he, he plays the baby. Thank you very much. Whatever. Whatever. What happened at that hospital? They kicked you out of the hospital. Yep. Why? Because we didn't think the they, baby was yeah. his, so she wouldn't let us in the room. Why are you in the room, Lori? Yeah. She didn't even let us in the room. room when she had the baby. You damn right. That's, That's how I know it's not my blood. She didn't blood. let us in because it wasn't his baby's. Why That's she didn't why. let us oh, in? Oh, whatever. Because right now we're about to find out because it is his kid. That's why you didn't let us in. Look, Maury, I'm supposed to be the aunt? Yep. How come I wasn't in the room when she had the baby? I'm the one having the baby. I'm the one under all the stress. This is supposed to be a happy time for me. And y'all are talking about the And he wanted me in the room? No. Yeah, I don't ever. Whatever. Be if you knew who we belong to, that's business. when it Am be. I in bed with me? Huh? Is that what you're saying? No, thank you. We'd have to Nicole. stand in line. Nicole. We'd have to stand in Nicole. line to lay in bed with Nicole. you. Nicole. This baby is your nephew. You're going to love that child? Yeah, I love him now. I'm getting attached to him now. That's why I want to know. Rose? Rose? Yeah. If this is your grandchild, you're going to love that child? Yes, sir. I will why love him. You, you think they're yeah. alike? If he's yeah. not my grandbaby, yeah. she's going to have to go. Her and the baby are going to have yeah. to get out of my house. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going nowhere. She's got to go. You can't get rid of me that easy. Wait a sorry. second. Oh, are you yeah, trying to tell me that all of you live together? Yes, oh, yeah. sir. Lori. I'm taking care of her and her baby right now. In the case of one-year-old Phoenix, Brian, you are the father. I think there are a lot of apologies on all sides here, yeah, but have now to get you have a little this. child in that house, and I think the screaming and the arguing should be over. No, it's okay, over. Nicole? <laughs> Brian, you're a dad. And Nicole, you're not crying because you prefer him not to be his child, do you? No, no I'm not. No, you're crying. No, I know I'm why happy. you're crying. You're crying because you have a you had a chance to get real close to this child, and now you can, okay? Yep. So you missed out on some time. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Zeus is happy to have a three-month-old baby with his girlfriend, Erica. But they're here because Lacey claims he has a three-month-old baby with her, too. This is a stalker. He ain't the father! Why are you here? Two grandmas at war over one baby. She's only 17. She and her mother say he's the father, but his mother says he's not. Shut the hell up, you Yeah, my crazy. You gonna stay away from my son. What kind of person are you? Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert. 
four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of the four kids? Everyone, this is Lacey. Welcome, Lacey. Now, the day that Lacey met Jesus was one of the worst days of her life. Because then, after spending time with Jesus for seven months, their friendship turned romantic. She ended up getting pregnant with her now three-month-old baby, Jadiana. Now, what Jesus neglected to mention was that every time he would leave her house, he would then go home to his living girlfriend, Erica. who, by the way, was also pregnant at the same time. And she has a baby exactly the same age as Lacey's. Lacey says Jesus had a happy life with his girlfriend, Erica, while he denies her baby and has left them out in the cold. That's why. He ain't the father. That's why. He is pregnant. the father. You I, don't I, I know. You need to get DNA. Like, so I don't know why you're here. Yeah. Why so you here? Why you here? He's, he's not, not the father. father. He's not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Not the father. Everybody, right? Come on, man. You feel the baby moving at six months. So, when you found out you were pregnant, you kind of reached out to him, right? Yep. I tried to get a hold of him on MySpace. I tried to get a hold of him through family, through right. his brother. Right. And? Nothing. No answer, no reply, nothing. So, when did he finally show up? He showed up the first time when I was six months pregnant, say, talking about, if the baby's mine, I'll be there. Then he started talking about one night, oh, me and you need to be back together. I love you. We should raise a family together. But then leaves my house at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to get on the bus to go home with his new girlfriend, right? But we won't tell that lie either. New girlfriend. <laughs> and you didn't know that she was pregnant? Oh, no, I didn't know she was pregnant until after I told him I was pregnant. He's going to take care of mine. So you think he would uh, own up to the child if it wasn't for Erica? He would own up to her if it wasn't for Erica. Okay. You think so? Oh, yeah, he would. And you don't really he know her. Do you I don't know, know nothing about her. This is the first time I've seen her ugly ass. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, this is what they had to say. Watch. I'm so tired of this girl, Lacey, always interfering with me and my girlfriend, Erica. I'm just tired of it. Lacey knew that me and Jesus were together when she got pregnant. What kind of whore would sleep with another woman's man? Lacey didn't even tell me she was pregnant until she was six months in. How do you go that long without even knowing? If we changed our number, it was because Lacey's a stalker. After this DNA test, she's the one to have to go into hiding when she finds out Jesus is not the father of her baby. Lacey slept with at least three of my friends that I know of. How do I know that baby's mine? Lacey needs to mind her own business and realize that me and Jesus, we're happy right now. After we get these results, we're going to rid our lives of Lacey, her baby, and her drama. All right, here they are, Jesus and Erica. <laughs> When do you find out that he might have another child? When I was nine months pregnant. Nine months pregnant from and, my are, and are they exactly the same age? Uh, almost close, about two weeks apart. Oh. Right? Why would you even mess with a dude who has a girlfriend who told you that we was together? Oh, definitely you never did. So therefore, you didn't nobody care about you because he wasn't with you. Was he wasn't with me. He, he wasn't was with you. When house. he stayed, he with me weeks on house. in. When he stayed with me weeks on in. I watch Thank you, you every much. day. Oh, I'm <laughs> I called the show. I called the show. I called before. You couldn't okay. get a hold of him. So okay, therefore, Erica, that's why Erica, 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 I want to... Oh, okay, let's okay. go back, mm -hmm. all right? You all together. Mm-hmm. Been together for two years. When, so almost three. When, Obviously when, when not you, happily. When do you find out? If he... Everybody, obviously not happily. Hey, Zeus. You were with Lacey, right? Yeah. You were with her. Well, we wasn't together. It was just, uh... Right, you were with her. We, we was party buddies. Okay. I got four baby moms, Maury. <laughs> <laughs> five kids, kids currently. 
if, if JD, I don't my kid, I told her I would, I would he help her. I'll be there. He's a great father. He I'm, takes I care of all his, my he's kids. A great I take care of all my great kids. Father. So if she were your child, you'd take care of her. Definitely. You are spread very thin as a father, okay? <laughs> and you're spread as about as thin as one can be. So my advice would be put a cap on it. It's the end. <laughs> Not she barely point. knew him, Erica, barely knew him. You Erica, don't know what happened. So every you might child, want to be every child, I want to tell you something. Every child that comes and he feels responsible takes away from him caring for, for the children he already he has, has. Okay? He We're gonna worried. find out right now. <laughs> In the case of four-month-old Jadiana, Jesus. You are not yeah! the father. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. You made me believe you. You made me believe you. I knew it. This hard. What a break of my relationship. Not the baby. That's not your baby. Thank God. Thank God. She made a mistake. She thought that he was the father. Obviously. Okay. All right? So what it is, is you're out of this woman's life. Thank God. And so Thank is God. Jesus. Two grandmas at war over one baby. She's only 17. She and her mother say he's the father. He's not going to do it anymore with my daughter. I've had it. But his mother says he's not. Shut the hell up, you crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. You gonna stay away from my son. What kind of person are you? Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert... Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of the four kids? Sitting next to me is 17-year-old Emberly and her very angry mother, Sherry. You see? <laughs> this is what happened. Seven months ago, Emberly gave birth to a little boy named Adario. Oh, he's so pretty. A child she knows without a doubt belongs to this man, Robert. Oh, oh, you. Oh. The problem is that Emberly and Sherry claim that because of Robert's mother, Tanya, oh. Robert goes back and yeah. forth. One day he claims baby Adario, the next day he denies the little baby. Well, both Sherry and Emerly claim they're sick of the fighting, they're here to end the drama and uncover the truth once and for all. So, Sherry, how would you describe Emberly and Robert right now? Oh. Well, she can't, honestly, she can't stand him. You know what this man did to me when she got pregnant? He went to the doctors, he points at her stomach. This baby's mine, like he's rubbing it in my face, he had my daughter. She's pregnant, I know you have my daughter, you don't have to rub it in my face. You need to keep your pecker in your pants, I'll leave my daughter alone. Amberly, are you sure that this is his child? They're, I'm 100% sure this Tell is them. his dad. You know what they say? You're manipulating everybody here. You That's know, all you do. I'm manipulating. This guy got my daughter at 16 pregnant. He needs to stay away from after women. And, and what? He couldn't even come. Wait, wait. This woman, this woman right here, he can't even come to this show. Give us a day, Tanya. This is my day. This is my day, Tanya. He's sweating. And he can't even come to this show without his mama. You're the one going. Y'all going back and forth saying my son's not his. Oh, you know what? I, I say, say whatever the hell I want to say about this. Yeah, yeah. You want to say 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 you
can take the baby away, she's wishing the baby dead. What kind of woman? What kind you of mother? Damn you, are you are damn right. right. You are damn right. I said the baby can be taken away from you. Okay, That's what Sherry. the hell I said that does not mean I said Sherry. She's evil. You're right. She's evil. This you're not, woman. you're not going to what? I won't fight you're gonna her. Sit, you're going to sit in that chair. I'm going to try. You haven't been there. You ain't got no choice but to try. Marie, this through hell for a year and a half. And what you do want to do it. I don't you don't do it, you woman. crazy bitch. I don't, you don't do it. You know what? I am crazy. Because you know I'm crazy mama that protects her babies from like him. Yeah, well, your baby shouldn't be a slut to sleep with them. Your baby no, should be a slut to no, sleep no, with them. They're going to come out here, and I want you in your chair. Yes, because sir. guess what? If we show that this is his child, y'all are going to have to live together. You, have no, to... you know what, Maury? No, we don't. You know what it is? Why? Because there, there's so much drama. This test in your show today is going to prove this baby's his. The drama's going to stop. He needs to man up, do what he's supposed to do for this baby, and get out of our lives! We spoke to Robert and his mom, Tanya, last night. This is what they had to say. Watch. I'm Robert's mother, and I'm here to defend my son. I refuse to let Sherry bully my son. It's going to stop today. I believe that I'm Adaria's father, but from the beginning, my mother's been telling me to get a DNA test. I know my son thinks he's the father, but I don't think he is, and I'm here to protect him. I love him, really, and I want to be a father to my baby, but Sherry won't let me. I'm tired of them using an innocent baby to get what they want out of my son. Somebody needs to put a stop to Emberly and that crazy bitch Sherry, and it's gonna be me. Here they are, Robert and his mother Tanya. Here they are. I am crazy. I'm crazy about protecting my child. Stop it, Sherry. Stop well, it for a not. second. Okay. Hi, Tanya. How are you? I'm fine. How you been? I'm okay. Okay. Why isn't this baby your son's? Emily has told me I am not the baby's grandma. If I, this is my blood son. Who is the grandma then? That's my son. I, I can't tell you what I'm not. You're the first one saying I that. Tell you that right I want to tell you something right now. I want to say what it was. Can I tell you what I say with nobody? Can I, I, don't do I want to tell you all something. This child is not going to have a chance with this kind of atmosphere. He's not going to have a chance. But it ends today with the DNA. With the DNA it has today. Not a chance. The DNA How do you expect today. a child to grow up in a house with all this They're going on? They're wishing the baby dead. So your baby, if you say this is, that's my grandson. But why would you wish him dead? No problem taking care of you. You won't let me live. You won't let me in his life. Why should I be in his life? Why should I be in his life? You won't let me in his life. What kind of person are you? Did I say dead? You said it. Which I'm crazy. Y'all said it. You know what? You're crazy. You're crazy. I said he could be. Lots of people. Lots of people. Emberly. People say things out of anger. Okay. But you don't. Did you ever say to them? Well, it just might not be yours no. because you no, were angry. I've never said that. Never you said told that me one. I wasn't The answer grandma. to this question is, there. is going to settle all the yes. did he, didn't she, <laughs> did <laughs> this, did it. It's going to settle everything. In the case of seven-month-old Adario, Robert, which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert, the DNA test results are coming up. Alicia dropped out of high school. She is a single mom, desperate to figure out who the father of her son is. I feel like I screwed up. You don't have any help? <laughs> no. Will this teen find the father today? Tony. <laughs> you are 
Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of the four kids? This is Alicia, and backstage, welcome Alicia to the show, by the way. And backstage is her ex-boyfriend, her first love, Tony. Now, Alicia is praying that a DNA test proves that Tony's the father of her son, Aiden, who's 21 months old. You see, when Alicia was 17 and dating Tony, she made one mistake of sleeping with one of their mutual friends. And that's when her world began to unravel because overwhelmed by the stress of her pregnancy, Alicia dropped out of high school, gave up her dreams of becoming a nurse, and today she is a single mom desperate to figure out who the father of her son is. Watch. When me and Tony were having problems, I had sex with one of my friends. I feel like I can't forgive myself. It was a one-time thing, and I, I feel like I screwed up. In my heart, I know Tony's the father. People are saying that it's not Tony's, and I know it's Tony's. I didn't mean to hurt Tony. I really didn't. I dropped out of school when I found out I was pregnant. I wanted to graduate. I wanted to become a nurse. I wanted to become somebody. I'm the one paying the price. I'm the one taking care of Aiden. I know I made a mistake. And I just wish Tony can be there for him. My son picked up a picture of Tony. And he was saying, Dada. That hurt so much. Wow. You think they look alike? I think they do. I'm just hoping it's Tony's. You don't have any help? <laughs> no. My life has been so stressful. Did Tony say if he's shown to be the father, he'll come back into that baby's life? Yes. You will. All right. Tony sat down with my producers last night. This is what he had to say. Alicia, we were together for two years. I know we had our problems, but I cannot believe you had sex with one of our friends. When you got pregnant then, do you have any idea what that did to me? I was there for you through your whole pregnancy. I was even holding your hand when Aiden was born. You have lied and cheated too many times. You know what hurts the most? You've never even said that you're sorry. I still love Aiden more than anything in the world. All I want is for Aiden to be my son. But if he is not, I will never be able to forgive you. Oh, wow. Have you ever uh, said you were sorry? I said it once. I don't understand. If you want him so much in your child's life and to help you, why would you only say it once? Because we always used to fight. We used to fight. Okay. Here's Tony, everybody. Welcome, Tony. Here's Tony. Do you have feelings left for her? Absolutely. I always want Maury. But you're angry. Of course. By the way, when she got pregnant, did she say it could be somebody else's? Not at the time, no. But... Despite that, you were there at the pregnancy, and Absolutely. you were there at the doctor's visits and the birth of the child. Absolutely, Maury. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. Knowing all that, why did you begin to pull away? It was more of the fact that I wanted to be either 100% in his life or not at all. I didn't want to get too attached and then find out he wasn't mine and end up being the one hurt in the end. I see. You think... You think you and Jaden look alike? Yeah, I think we have the same eyelashes, chin, and ears. You want to be Aiden's father, though, right? Absolutely, 100% more. Okay, we're going to find out right now. When it comes to two-year-old Aiden, Tony, you are the father. Tony. 
okay? You don't have to think about anybody in the neighborhood you, talking man. anymore. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Okay? Thank you. I know you're going to be a good dad. Of course. He's a lovely child, okay? And I don't know if the two of you can work things out, but for that child, you better be great parents, Thank okay? You, boy. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Jolene has been sleeping with her husband and her lover for the past nine years. Who's the father of her four kids? What is going on? I am torn. Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert! The DNA test results are coming up. Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of her four kids? Everybody, this is Rick. Now, backstage is his wife of eight years, Jolene. Now, Rick has come to the show to prove to Jolene that he is the father of all four of her kids. Oh. Now, think about this. Did you hear what I said? They've been married eight years. But just months after getting married, Jolene left Rick at a moment for another guy named Jesse. Oh. And now, for the last eight years, Rick says that Jolene has been back and forth between Rick and Jesse and Rick and Jesse, to the point that there are four kids that he thinks are his and Jesse thinks are his. Oh. Once she proves it, she says she wants a divorce from you. I've been in love with my wife since we were 12 years old, and even though she won't admit it, there's a good possibility that all four of these kids are mine. Andy, when I look at her, I see my blue eyes and my nose and just think she's my daughter. After Mandy, we had Nathaniel. Me and her were together at the time on and off. When it comes to the twins, she says that they're definitely Jesse's, but we were sleeping together at the time also. For the past nine years, we have not stopped sleeping together. Whenever he goes to work or he's not there, I'm there. Well, to be honest, we slept together last week. If any of these kids are mine, Jesse needs to step aside and let me take care of them. So Jolene thinks that Rick could be the father of one, Mandy, the oldest. But that the rest, the other three, they belong to Jesse. Jolene says, you all haven't been together, and except for the oldest one, the other ones are Jesse's. Oh, I know it's a complete lie. We've been together, like I said, for the, the past nine years. Right. There, there's been a... Well, guess what? Eight years. <laughs> you took a lie detector test, too, didn't you? Yep. Okay, what are those? This is what Jesse and Jolene had to say. Watch this. I met Rick. We dated for a while, and we got married at 18. A couple months went by, we realized it wasn't working out. I met someone new, which is Jesse. Eight years later, I'm still with Jesse, but I'm still technically married to Rick. I have four beautiful children. I believe three of them are Jesse's, and one of them are Rick's. I love my family. I'd do anything for them. No matter how the DNA test results comes out, I'm stay here and take care of them. It's difficult because Rick comes along and he says he's dad and me and Jesse are trying to move along. Jolene and I need this DNA test to prove these kids are mine once and for all and to get Rick out of our lives. I really hope that all four kids are Jesse's. I can get a divorce and never look back. And here are Jolene and Jesse. Can't wait to talk to them. Jolene, y'all get along? You know, you know each other. Yeah, okay. we know each other. You're civil to each other. Yeah. You're civil. Civil because we have to do that. Because there are kids involved, right? Of course. And Jolene, here. you are the linchpin to this whole thing. Yes, I am. Are you What's a confused on? puppy or what? I'm torn. I'm torn between the two. 
I have feelings for the two, yeah. and I care. Who so do I'm, you think is the father of these kids? Nathaniel, Ashton, and Adelyn, I believe, are Jesse's. Those are the three youngest. Yes. And that baby picture is of Mandy, of right? Of Mandy, yes. And so you think that there's a possibility that Rick is the father of Mandy. Yes. Jesse, what do you think? Same thing. I believe the three are mine, and 50 chance of the other one. Uh, after today, are you going to be seeing both these guys or just one? Just one. Just one? Just one. And that would be? Because after today, with my results, I'm going to get a divorce. Well, first, we're going to find out whether you actually have been. <laughs> we asked Rick if you've had sexual intercourse with Jolene for the last nine years. You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with Jolene in the last week and a half? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. We asked you, do you go over to Jolene's house when Jesse is at work? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Well, guess what? What we really want to find out is, who's the father of these children? We're going to find out. Who's the father of her four kids? Four DNA tests. Four unforgettable results. Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert! The DNA test results are coming up. You are the father. Get off my stage! Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of her four kids? I've been in love with my wife since we were 12 years old, and even though she won't admit it, there's a good possibility that all four of these kids are mine. I have four beautiful children. I believe three of them are Jesse's, and one of them are Rick's. I love my family. I'd do anything for them. No matter how the DNA test results comes out, I'm stay here and take care of them. We're going to uh, start with the oldest, Mandy. Okay. In the case of five-year-old Mandy, Jesse, you are not the father. Rick, you are the father. In the case of four-year-old Nathaniel, Rick, you are not the father. Jesse, you are the father. In the case of the 17-month-old twins, Ashton and... Natalie. Natalie. Rick, you are not the father. Jesse, you are the father. So it's just as you thought. All we care about is that those four kids have a good life and are well taken care of. And have a lot of love. We'll be back right after this. Two grandmas at war over one baby. Which grandma is right and which grandma is wrong? Robert! The DNA test will reveal the shocking truth next. Four DNA tests and four unforgettable results. Who's the father of her four kids? I'm Robert's mother, and I'm here to defend my son. I refuse to let Sherry bully my son. It's going to stop today. I believe that I'm Adaria's father, but from the beginning, my mother has been telling me to get a DNA test. I know my son thinks he's the father, but I don't think he is, and I'm here to protect him. You know what they say? You're manipulating everybody here. You That's know, all you do. I'm manipulating this guy. Got my daughter at 16, pregnant. He needs to stay away from after women. And, and what? He couldn't even come. Wait, wait. This woman, this woman right here, he can't even come to the show. The answer to this question is, there. is going to settle all the yeah, did he, didn't she, did this, did it. It's going to settle everything. In the case of seven-month-old Adario, Robert, you are the father. Okay, everybody under
understand from now forward, from now never, on I never deny forward, my son. all the crap ends, all right? Take care of that job.